From hiring a new superintendent to possibly closing more schools and changing school boundary lines even, Green Bay School Board is facing a lot of big decisions coming up. Yes, and it appointed a new member last night to try to help with those decisions. And in doing so, it granted one request that some community members had for the position. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has more in this Project Education Report. I've been asking myself for the last few months, you, you, there's something that you should be doing more than you are doing. Retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Rick Crossen, who was more recently running a trucking company, is the newest member of Green Bay School Board. He will serve the year remaining on Laura Lighton and Warren's term, who resigned shortly after the board accepted the resignation of former Superintendent Claude Tiller. My own challenge to myself that I should have probably have been more involved with events uh, prior to that happening and so I, I did. I put my name out there as, as, as a resource going forward. You guys have not done anything. Immediately after the school board accepted Tiller's resignation in February, the district's first African-American superintendent, minority community members called for more diversity on the board. Those three seats next year, we're going to assure that they get filled with black and brown people. Yes, are you at all concerned that the board selected you just to appease that part of the community? Or do you feel that it was just based purely on your qualifications? Well, I would say there's probably folks all along that spectrum. And, and for me, um, I know my qualifications. I know what I can do. I know my limitations and what I, what I need help on. Who I am. Uh, has a part to play. I'm obviously unapologetically a black man, uh, and so it, I do have a, a perspective that uh, I think can can bring some uh, some good things to the to the group, and and for that we can only be better. Board members focused more on Crossan's experience and knowledge of district issues when saying why they wanted him on the board. He has experience with change management so critically important as we deal with the fiscal cliff, the closing facilities, and the boundary recommendations. Out of a field of fantastic candidates, it's clear to me that he understands the role of the school board. Crossan was one of 15 people who put their name in to be considered for the open seat. Uh, I understand the responsibilities, I understand the challenges, and I'm ready to do it. Let's go. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. Crossan isn't the only one bringing increased diversity to the seven-member school board. Voters also elected Ku Lee earlier this month out of four candidates who were vying for two open seats. Why do you want to be on the school board? Well, for me, it, I saw it as a, an opportunity to immediately give back to the community and contribute in a way that I feel that can help this uh, organization move forward. There are some, some critical issues and items that, that need attention. And me coming on as a board member, my learning curve as far as how to function on a board will not be that steep uh, so that I can immediately get into the issues and help uh, craft some resolution and some, some solutions to those challenges. Yeah, obviously there's a lot of big issues going on right now from changing boundaries to closing schools to you know getting a new superintendent was there one of those that kind of you know, really led you to uh, get in this race well I, w I would say uh, an event that that sp spurred me into this was the the superintendent resignation and my own challenge to myself that I should have probably have been more involved with events uh, prior to that happening and so I I did I put my name out there as, as, as a resource going forward to say, what can I do? Or I'm available to help and, uh, and move this thing forward. And so that now is one of the key issues is to find uh, another superintendent among other issues and that I think I can help contribute to. How did you think that played out with Superintendent Tiller and leaving the district? Well, for, for me, it's really not for me to say. I, I think there are folks that were really um, not happy with how those things all turned out. It didn't sound like something that was desired by either side. And so 
it's unfortunate that it happened, but it has happened. And so for us, it's about where do we go forward and create conditions where things like that just don't happen again. What are you looking for in the next superintendent? Uh, I would say, obviously, strong leadership, someone who can um, hold the reins down as far as making sure that the goals, the mission, the vision, the strategy that the board has set forth are implemented, and that everybody feels a part of the solution. Yeah, obviously, in that process, a lot of the parents were upset, and they want uh, a minority representation on the board. Are you at all concerned that the board selected you just to appease that part of the community? Or do you feel that it was just based purely on your qualifications? Well, I would say there's probably folks all along that spectrum. And, and for me, um, I know my qualifications. I know what I can do. I know my limitations and what I, what I need help on. I've always said I don't ever want to be the smartest person in the room, but I also know that I need to understand what questions to ask, how to get results, and how to make things happen. Um, who I am uh, has a part to play. I'm obviously unapologetically a black man, uh, and so it, I do have a, a perspective that uh, I think can, can bring some, uh, some good things to the, to the group. And, and for that, we can only be better. I think this whole discussion of diversity, equity, and inclusion is one that um, it's, 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 it should be just a normal way of doing business. And, and why would we not exclude, or why would we exclude any group or, or marginalize any group um, from this whole discussion of moving things forward for our students? So me being on the board, I think, is going to bring some good perspective. And I'm going to challenge things that if, I, if, they don't, they don't, if they're not right, if the, if the playing field is not leveled in any way, then I'm going to call those things out. And we're going to fix it and move forward so that these distractions, and that's really what I call these sorts of things, are distractions, can, uh, can get out of our way so that we can move things forward. What is your background with the district? Uh, purely a, a resident in the area, or have you had children, grandchildren that uh, have been in the schools? Um, my, uh, my kids went to an adjacent school district. I live here in Green Bay. I'm a resident of Green Bay. And, and as such, I feel like, you know, as a citizen of the city, I've lived here in this area for 22 years. So I'm very familiar with Green Bay and the, and the Green Bay community. What uh, school district were your kids in? Howard Swamico. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, closing schools is going to be one of the big issues that you guys have mm -hmm. to tackle here coming up. What do you believe should be the approach for doing that? Well, obviously, where the demographics are, where the people are, where the resources are, what makes the most sense for keeping a school open and vibrant, and, and, and where can we minimize the impact on everybody concerned. There's, there's obviously financial, there's structural issues, there's, there's a lot of school pride and emotion and that are all come into play. And, and, and so we have to take all of those things into account. I think the thing that, that, that has to happen more than anything else is to include everybody in this discussion. So there's ownership in the solution. And not everybody's going to be 100% happy, but that's part of the process. And so if you include as many people who are going to be affected in this decision-making process, you're going to get the result. First of all, you're going to get the best result, and you're going to get the quickest result. Uh, and then we work through the, the, uh, the issues that are going to happen when you transition into that future state. I think that's about all I have. Is there anything I didn't ask you? Anything else that you'd want us to include? No, just uh, I'm going to enjoy the opportunity. I'm, I'm humbled by the fact that I've been appointed for this position. Uh, I understand the responsibilities. I understand the challenges. And I'm ready to do it. Let's go.